he's gonna keep, I keep seeing his head pop over there. I'm gonna wait till it's his go. Can you just tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, and <laughs> oh my God. Gene analysis. analysis. <laughs> 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 gonna be a few edits. <laughs> My name is Andy Chenery. I've just completed my performance analysis degree at the University of Suffolk. I'm now doing my master's also in performance analysis uh, while working at Itchish Town as an under 18 analyst. My name's Abby. I'm a second year student at the University of Suffolk studying sports performance analysis. Uh, my main interest is netball, so I'm studying that and looking in depth at that um, video analysis with that as well. So I'm Wayne, I'm 22. I started playing football like, professionally around 14. So I kind of got a bit of experience in that side, but when it didn't quite work out, I still wanted to be involved in, in football. So obviously went on UCAS and I saw this course pop up, so it was something that I wanted to get involved in. I'm Joseph Weston, 20 years old. Um, I've, I'm a third year student at the University of Suffolk doing the performance analysis course and I'm currently on placement at Ipswich Town Football Club. So my name is Charlie, I'm doing a performance analysis degree at the University of Suffolk and I'm currently on placement at Norwich City Football Club doing the YDP age groups. I'm Nathan, I'm currently doing the sports performance analysis course at the University of Suffolk, I'm in my second year. I'm currently on placement at Watford, uh, working with the first team doing video analysis. As well as the Obviously having a name to alongside you know, what you've done, um, I'd say it's just understanding the, the weekly routine of what an analyst does, um, what duties he has to do, how his role might improvise, whether a coach wants something or, or a fixture schedule, you don't know what's going to come up and just how they deal with those situations and I think being in that environment has just made me feel more comfortable and so when I do go into a full-time role, I think I sort of understand different situations and how weekly routine is going to, what it's going to look like. The biggest thing you can learn within a placement is being within the football environment, and that's kind of work, whether that's working with players or working with coaches, just knowing how they work and how they expect work to be done. So you obviously work with, by working with the group of players who I'm with, you kind of understand their needs and how they, what they want from the analysis within, the, within their setup and also with the coaches you're working with, you understand the level of work they want and how they want it delivered to them. I think you get a different view of what it's like to actually be an analyst and to actually have to sit there at games because live coding and doing things here um, gives you the skills and gives you the ability that you know that you can do it yourself but to be put in that game situation where the whole atmosphere is different, there's a different environment, you've got different pressures around you. Being able to have said that I've done that and I've worked with legitimate teams that um, it's going to really help me with employability after. Probably the first sort of Sunday where you filmed the games because it was like you finally started hit the ground running you kind of got to grips with it so then the week following you had to code the games do the pre-match do the post-match and you kind of it was that first week of right this is how it is in a professional environment this is the things you need to do on a daily basis and just sort of finding out a little bit of like opening my eyes to how the actual week to week works and this was quite a nice sort of experience, experience for the first time. When I was doing first team duties, I sort of just really enjoyed that. Obviously being a fan of the club as well, it was, it was nice to be a part of it and especially working at the East Anglian Derby, which obviously a, a big fixture around this area, it was sort of, it was nice to be in that environment. The first day I arrived, because it, it was actually surreal when I was driving up through the entrance and like was there and get, get, being given my kit and being shown about and going to the mess hall and then eating lunch and you're sitting at a table with, but with all the other interns at the coach to your left and you've got the players to your right. Just get involved. If you're looking at doing a, de a degree in it, go to the unis that you can see that have the courses and go and just try it out, go to open days, have a play around with the technology, see how you feel with it. There is absolutely opportunities around, it's like guest talks, there was placement opportunities, been able to tailor assignments to myself and to what I want to look at and what sports I'm interested in. There isn't 
a difference between me and the guy that's looking at football sitting next to me, that it's the same thing. Yeah, there's loads of different routes you can go down. Um, it doesn't just have to be playing, so this course allows you to be in the professional game, but doing you know, different work. So I think it's just come here, open-minded, um, ready to learn and see what and where you fit in the professional game. I would say just once you're on the course, just get as much experience as you can. Obviously you learn the, the techniques and the software here, but to actually gain that experience is, is vital for when, you, when you're progressing and you start looking for full-time jobs. So if you can get into any, it might be a club, it might be a, a company, just things like that, and then just take every opportunity that you're offered.